what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. good. You guys, we're back again to give you guys my name. It's guys. a makeover. My name is Devin, and welcome to the Pets Reacts, guys. Today, we're going to be reacting to scientific facts in the Quran, guys. This is going to be our first time giving this a try, and so going to try it with you guys. This is actually 33 minutes long, so we're going to break this into two parts. What do you think? All right, that's a good idea. You know how it is, guys. We talk less right now, we ask more. Well. Let's get into this video. Islamic ideas. Facts that can be found in the Quran that leave us awestruck. How could this information be in a book 1,400 years old? And we were looking at those verses in the Quran concerning the development of the human fetus in the womb. And we also were reading a hadith of the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him. When the Prophet Muhammad mentioned that when 42 nights have passed over the conceptus, Allah sends an angel to it who shapes it, makes its ears and eyes and skin and flesh and bones. And then he says, oh Lord, is it a male or a female? And your Lord decides what he wishes and an angel records it. So it is at the 42nd day or just after the 40th day that it only then becomes identifiable. And this is a fact. This is a scientific fact. Um, and it's very interesting. It's true also that the Prophet Muhammad mentioned that there are some things that the knowledge of it is only known to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one of the things the Prophet mentioned is what is the sex of the, the child in the womb. We also find that the hadith mentions the correct time for the recognizable growth of the features described. And the sex of the fetus can only definitely be determined after 42 days. Now this piece of information was only known after the invention of powerful microscopes only decades ago. But what I thought I would do is mention a quote from Keith Moore, Seems who is the professor like this and chairman mm -hmm. of the Department of Anatomy from the University of Toronto in Canada. And Keith Moore is one of the acknowledged experts in the field of the developing human being in its embryonic form. And he was shown some of the statements in the Quran and the hadith or sayings of the Prophet Muhammad uh, concerning the development of the human embryo. And having studied them, he came to a conclusion. And this is what he said. Until the 19th century, nothing was known about the classification of the stages of human development. A system of staging human embryos was developed around the end of the 19th century based upon alphabetical symbols. And during the 20th century, numerals were used to describe 23 stages of embryonic development. This system of numbering the stages is not easy to follow and a better system would be based on the morphological changes. In recent years, the study of the Quran has revealed another basis for the classification of the stages of developing embryo, which is based on easily understood actions and changes in shape. It utilizes terms that were used and sent by God to Prophet Muhammad, by the angel Gabriel, and recorded in the Quran. And he goes on to say, it is clear to me that these statements must have come to Muhammad from God, because almost all of this knowledge was not discovered until many centuries later. This proves to me 
that Muhammad must have been a messenger of God or Allah. Dear viewers, you need to think about this. Here is one of the experts, perhaps the expert in the field, examining the information that is in the Quran and that has been mentioned on the tongue of the Prophet Muhammad. And he is saying that not only is it impossible for this information to have been known by anyone 1,400 years ago, he also suggests that modern embryology should follow the system of development that has been mentioned in the Quranic verses. This is what Keith Moore is saying, who, by the way, has become a Muslim. How did the Prophet Muhammad develop this information? From where did a man living in the desert 1,400 years ago know? This is the question that you have to ask. The next thing we want to look at is the water cycle, where the sun heats the sea and causes evaporation, and from that evaporation we have clouds forming, and how the winds move those clouds, and from that... Yeah, rainfall. I told this in school. Now, the Qur'an accurately describes the water cycle and the origin of underground springs. Um, in fact, it was not until the 18th century that the water cycle was really accurately described. Yet the Qur'an says, 1,400 years ago, in the 39th surah, in the 21st ayah, have you not seen that Allah sent water down from the sky and led it through sources into the ground? This is a simple but in fact highly accurate description of the water cycle. Another amazing fact that is mentioned in the Qur'an, we find in the 24th surah of the Qur'an in the 40th verse. And it's talking about the state of those people who disbelieve and reject faith in God. The Qur'an describes the state of the disbeliever, the person who has rejected faith, like a darkness. A darkness that is so dark, it is like the deep, depths of darkness in a vast deep ocean, overwhelmed with wave upon wave. If a man stretches out his hand, he can hardly see it. For any to whom Allah gives no light, there is no light. Now, on the surface, here Allah is giving a simple description. On the surface, we have a very poetic, we have a very a very strong and like vigorous guy and, and saying, amazing yeah, description of this darkness and the state of being lost. Yet when we examine it in more detail, there is something else going on here as well. There is a clue to some scientific truths. First of all, the Quran describes a vast deep ocean and it describes waves upon waves. Now, of course, most of us are familiar with the waves that are on top of the ocean. But what does it mean waves upon waves? Are there other waves in the ocean? Well, we're going to find out. Also the Qur'an talks about a person being deprived of light that they can hardly see. Now a ray of light is composed of seven colors. Violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. And light when it hits water goes through what is called refraction. That means that, for example, in the upper 10 to 15 meters, the water absorbs the red color. And as you go deeper, each of the colors in the spectrum become absorbed by the water. Until you get to a depth of below about 1,000 meters, there is complete darkness. Now, what is amazing, is that we also find in modern scientific discoveries that internal waves cover the deep waters of the seas and oceans because the deep waters have a higher density than the waters above them. So waves upon waves. We have the internal waves in the deep, deep ocean and then we have the 
waves on top of the ocean. And then the clouds and so on and so forth, they add to the darkness and the disparity and the, the breaking up and the refracting of light. Now what is interesting is the deep darkness, remember the Quran says, they stretch out their hand, they can hardly see it. This deep darkness begins below the internal waves in the ocean. In fact, there are certain fish down at those depths which need their own lights in order to be able to see. And amazingly, Allah has created these creatures that can actually generate their own lights. Now this is really amazing because of course until very recently no one has been able to penetrate and to reach those deep parts of the ocean. It is only with extremely sophisticated modern machinery and submarines and diving suits that someone has been able to go down to that depth. Yet we have the Quran 1400 years ago describing the internal waves of the oceans and the darkness that is there at the depths of the oceans. How on earth could a man living in the desert 1,400 years ago have known about such detailed information about a science like oceanography? Well, Professor Rao, who is an expert in marine biology at the King Abdul Aziz University in Jeddah, says, 1,400 years ago, a normal human being could not explain this phenomenon in so much detail. This information must have been coming from a supernatural source. My dear viewers, this even is not the end of the amazing scientific statements in the Quran. Because the next thing I want to deal with is cosmology. The statements in the Quran concerning the universe. Now, until recently, or we could say up until the 1960s, there was a major controversy between scientists concerning the state of the universe. Now, some scientists believe and have begun to develop the idea that the universe was in a state of flux that the universe was in fact expanding and from this theory of the expanding universe also came another theory which is commonly known today as the big bang, big bang theory. theory yeah this is the idea that the universe had a common origin in a singularity the universe was a infinitely small we could say part of dense matter and this infinitely small dense matter then exploded into what is the universe that we know today now this was opposed by the static state theory and this was very much preferred theory of atheists that the universe was the way it was eternally in the past and will keep on being that way eternally in the future uh, and this was a theory that was really largely based, at least initially, and was believed in by Albert Einstein. And many people therefore followed on from that with this idea of the static state theory. And so this idea of the Big Bang Theory, which was, you know, really held by Fred Hoyle, he was the person who uh, supported this theory, uh, and Lemaitre, who was opposing it, with the idea of the Big Bang Theory. Now, evidence came to light that showed that variations in the light spectrum that were being emitted from galaxies and stars, which is called redshift, showed in fact that the universe is expanding. And it's amazing that this scientific fact that has now been that. confirmed yeah. That's... and it is agreed upon by almost unanimously all scientists in the field that we live in an expanding universe and the evidence yes. very very clearly and strongly suggests that what does the Quran say? 
before there were telescopes and all the means to discover this information the Quran says in the 51st surah in the 47th ayah the heaven we have built it with power and we are expanding it let's just repeat that again the heaven we have built it with power and we are expanding it the next most important observational evidence was the discovery of cosmic microwave background radiation in 1964 by a powerful telescope and this had been predicted in the Big Bang Theory as a relic of the hot ionized plasma of the early universe when it first cooled sufficiently to form neutral hydrogen and allowed space to become transparent to light and its discovery led to the general acceptance among physicists that the Big Bang is the best model for the origin and evolution of the universe. What does the Quran say in the 21st surah, in the 30th ayah? Have not those who disbelieved known that the heavens and the earth were joined together as one united piece, then we parted them and we have made from water every living thing will they not then believe the common origin of the universe or the singularity that scientists believe today the universe originated from and which led to the big bang it is considered that the conditions of this singularity were so precise it is almost inconceivable that it could be in that way except that it has been made by an all-wise and powerful creator. The Qur'an also mentions that Allah turned to the heavens when it was Dukhan. And the word Dukhan in Arabic means smoke. This also accurately describes the hot gaseous mass of the universe before the galaxies and the stars began to be formed. So here we have the Qur'an, 1,400 years ago, talking about the expanding universe, talking about the common origin of the universe, that the heavens and the earth were one, talking about the gaseous state, the smoke-like state of the early universe. This is in a book 1,400 years old, mentioning facts that scientists have only begun to discover today and we have created from every living thing water it's a fact that every living thing has its basis in and is fundamentally composed of water you and me are about 70 to 80 percent water a so fact that has been mentioned in the quran 1400 years ago will you not believe what will it take to make you realize and to understand that the Quran is the truth, that Muhammad is the messenger of God. This is more evidence, the proof that Islam is the truth. Let's look at some more verses of the Quran concerning the embryo of the galaxy giving us facts. Um, I feel like it's true. Sometimes, also sometimes in the Bible too, talking about what is happening yeah. now in the world is also true. And the Quran itself explaining in depth when Muhammad is talking about the embryo and all that. Wow, it can only That's be true. from like something above, like yeah, because there's no way he would be so able to like know. yeah, I know it. There's it's kind of like impossible. There was no microscope then, so yeah. how? I don't know. But sometimes, like, over here, like, it's kind of like impossible for them to, like, be aware of it. Yeah. Because that time, they don't have some certain sense, and mm. they were not really knowledge about some certain things. The embryo, like, for the fetus, for the baby, it still shocks me. And moments of water, all in the Quran, it's, it's beautiful. How all this were actually written in a book. Before we're born. Um, you know, in the Bible, 
God said, there is nothing new. Nothing. He is the end before you think you are starting. It's the beginning before you think you are ending. Everything works for together yes. for our purpose, for our good. It's clear in our Bible that everything we do was ordained and planned by God. So human being discovering since now does not mean he was not there before. We're unaware of it. And I love the fact he was giving yeah, like it was written in the Quran. It was written in the Quran. Yeah. That is a beautiful thing. I love and respect that like he took his time to research more about this and to me how immaculate. Like this is not a simple thing to go research about. And finding out facts and people believing like this is true. There's no way it's possible someone can come about such knowledge. Because me, I'm always shocked. Mm. For I believe in the scripture, there is nothing new. Anything that is being done now have been thousands of years ago. Possibly millions, that is what millions of years ago. It has been there for a long time ago, before you were I are born. And I believe more things will keep on be discovered in the future. Because up to now, we've not discovered enough exactly. about the universe. That's true. That is, it's ab deeply about water itself. We, diff we have not discovered more about it. And I feel like even after our time here on Earth, our generations to come are going to discover more and more better things yeah. to come. So, and most of them is going to still be related to the Bible. Yes, it's there already. And also to the Quran. Like, I, I believe that. Like me, I know definitely scientists are going to be discovering more things that was written thousands of years ago. So 100% I believe that. Uh, the Quran being truth, yeah, there are facts in the Quran that is true. I'm not going to doubt that. I truly accept and believe that. What do you think? I just love the fact that um, with your religion, you can look for miracles from it. Like, I feel that it's to strengthen your faith, to make you know that you are going the right path, making you yeah. know that like, this doing the right actually thing. happened. Like, there was a time that this situation actually happened. Yeah. Because when you compare it, like it does not make any sense. How come he was able to know about this 14,000 14, years ago? How come he was able to understand what's going to happen right now? How come he knows about the embryo? Like, literally, there was no microscope. How did he know about it? So I feel that this actually helps threaten um, people's faith. It actually helps make you know that, oh, you're going the right path. You, Actually, they are actually believed, they are actually um, things that are corresponding to what was written in the Quran 1400,000 years ago. Forgive me for nothing to And I really do enjoy this. I love the fact he listed, which are very, very true from the Embryo down to when you're talking about the galaxy. They are very, very true. And it's nice. This was a wonderful and a beautiful video to watch. And I would love for us to continue the remaining part so we know what. He, he had to see more like I'm curious. Yeah, guys, this was really an amazing video. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share the video as many as you can YouTube channel, guys. You know how it is. We'll see yeah, you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitches in my bed. I got scales all